Casualty, the track six off of From Zero, the new Linkin Park album. So now this is an important moment. It is. Surprisingly, it is. For the momentum of an album, this is kind of a big one. Just because of how over each other was. And it, over each other, really good song, followed a absolute banger that brought me back to like old Linkin Park. Heavy is the crown. But after, but the way over each other was going, it was it's it's a completely an Emily based song. She that that was her baby, carried that thing. How do you follow that up? You know what I mean? That was kind of a softer song. It was just her the whole way, the whole ride. So this transition, let let's see how it goes. That's why it's kind of a big moment, and we're right in the middle. It's eleven eleven track album, and we're at track six, so we're like right here. <laughs> Okay. Oh shit. Okay, I'm rewinding that. That is one way. It's definitely one way to transition after a kind of a, a softer song over each other. Again, just her doing just clean vocals the entire way through. So it's like how you get transitioned into like get us back into that normal Lincoln Park sound. Well, just let her scream. <laughs> just start the song off with screams. Let's go. Let me out. Set me free. Smart. I know all the secrets you keep. I, I won't be. I won't be your casual side. Oh. Whatever is about to drop, you can feel it coming. Before it happens, move on to get, keep the momentum. That's Mike Shinoda? That, that's not normally... Like, we've heard him sing quite a bit now. Pretty good singer. But... Harsh... Kind of harsh vocal Mike Shinoda? Like, uh, some screens... I won't call it screens, but you know what I mean? That's a, a little rasp. Is not normally up Mike's... Alley. It's not in his wheelhouse, really. In his tool belt. Toolbox, tool bag, whatever. But I'm not running. Something's coming. It's only a matter of time. Let me out. Let me free. I know all the things you keep. I won't be. I won't be your child of time. You drew the first. Angry Mike is different, man. And I assume that's definitely Mike, but he does, it, it sounds like him, but not like him at the same time. This is different. Bridge, hit me. Come on. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Yes. It's only a matter of time. Yes. It's only a matter of time. Ah! Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
Let's fucking go. I, it might be so. I want to hear that again because the chorus is my. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I really liked it. I think I'm shocked right now because this was my biggest concern. By by far, my biggest concern was can she get the the inner rage and kind of pain that you always heard in Chester's voice? Can she hit that? Because that matters. Like even. And mainly not just for like this song or even the, anything on this album. Fuck this album in the long run. It matters more so for like their legendary songs. If you're going to be the Chester replacement, when when you do live shows, people are going to want to hear a lot of the classics. You can't, you can't, we can't mutilate them. You got to have some of it. You got to have some punch to you. That had punch. That's what I was looking for, man. That answered a bunch of questions. That checked a box. That's a big fucking deal. Again, even if... So far, I'm, I'm digging the album. But even if this album was completely trash, the main thing that I needed to take out of this album is can she vocally do some of the older songs? Like, can she... You know what I mean? Do you got it in you? It's tough. But that was fucking awesome. And I love the bridge, too, the way they did it. Because that's... always Not every band does that. And I always, it always hits. It's got like a... It's batting a thousand. It, it, never, it never misses. When you have a bridge and you have the singer, it's almost like he's in the studio with a live mic. Even though, obviously, it's planned. But it just feels like it. Like they're just sitting in the studio with a live mic. I won't say weeping, but just... You feel a pain. It's like them trying to catch their breath, that type of thing. It adds such a bang for when the song comes back in. Let's see if I can find it. I'm terrible at these time things. Ah. A Corey Taylor staple for a lot of the Slipknot fans out there. Well, tons of the older Slipknot songs, the bridge Corey would do this. Fire. Love it. Love that. Great little detail. Completely unnecessary, obviously. But it, it, it just, it adds such a little uh, uh, ache to a song. And an added dimension to who she is as an artist. I'm fucking here for it. See, you just got to come into it with an open mind. We all love Chester. He might be the, the goat. He might be the greatest of all time. He's damn sure on Mount Rushmore. So you, you come in here with like, already, she's already fighting uphill. She just is. Just give us, give us flashes of what you could be. Here we go. Here we go. Checked off this box. On to the next. It is... I think it's another single. Nope, Overflow. Then after that is, I think, their final single, Two-Faced. All right. Overflow's next. And damn, this song was 2 minutes 20 seconds. It's another one where... I'm trying to think of what you could do. Oh, the, the second verse. Again, a, a corn staple. The second verse is being like two lines long. And we jump right back into the chorus. That's exactly what they did here. And that cuts off like 25, 35 seconds of a song. I mean, it works, but it's just odd. It, 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 the song's over before you know it. Like, before you know it, we're in the bridge. And you know we're basically over. If you are still here, if you are a real one. I think, I think we're working. I think, I think it's working, though. Don't want to speak too soon. We have a lot of songs left. But this isn't the disaster that was initially on the table. It easily could have been. 